We are Team Frambies and we created Indoor Quests in order to tackle Honda's prompt which focuses on improving the current state of indoor navigation. Everyone has had to navigate around a complex and unfamiliar place before like a mall or an airport. These places can get busy and quickly become both confusing and frustrating to navigate. None of the current solutions are easy to access, up to date, or entirely accurate. In addition, airports and malls are not compelled to update these maps due to the time and commitment it takes. Our dynamic and crowdsourced app tackles these problems. In order to remove the burden of map generation and maintenance from the building owners, we're proposing that floor plans of buildings be crowdsourced. As the user walks around an unmapped area, the map is updated to reflect that the user has used a valid walking path. Once a lot of users have added path data to the map, an empty floor plan will be created. Stores and restaurants will add their site to the map since they'll want users to be navigated to their location. Finally, users can modify the map as necessary to include restrooms, water fountains, and changing walkable areas in order to get credibility points, which can theoretically be used to access higher editing permissions, customizable avatars, or location-specific company promos. The additional features we are adding include a heat map that updates when users experience slowdowns in certain zones on the map, rerouting them to avoid this traffic. In addition, the app will learn to adjust and personalize the user's ETA based on past walking speeds. Lastly, if a user has accessibility challenges, there is an option to enable the route which avoids the use of stairs. This is a tech stack we use, including our front and back end, as well as an Arduino for navigation and a machine learning model to do natural language processing to improve the user experience. Our website will allow the user to search for a location given the nearest, most relevant destination options by our natural language processing model. Live updates will then appear to navigate the user to their desired destination using our hardware implementations, meaning our app works offline, giving an advantage to current mapping systems that require GPS or Wi-Fi. Our user-centric design allows our users to tailor the navigation application features to their individual needs. To get the current position and angle of the user as they're walking, we used an Arduino integrated with an accelerometer and a gyroscope over I2C protocol, which sends packets of data to the computer using zero communication, which is then displayed in real time on the website. And we'll show you how this all works together in this demo right here. Let's say I'm lost in a complex environment. I'm trying to make it to the bathroom. So I can type in bathroom, enter the search bar, I can press search, which will generate the fastest possible route to the bathroom. I can then press start route which will then let me start my path of walking towards the bathroom. Right here, I have an Arduino, which is connected to an accelerometer and a gyroscope, which will give me my current um, position and my head angle. This data is then sent over to my computer, which um, can display it in real time to show me my point along the path. Once I've reached the green, that means that I've made it to my final destination, the bathroom. 